That was the former handover of the party's flag to its gubernatorial candidate, Bishop Akalame, by the national chairman of the Zenith Labour Party, Chief Dan Wayawu, represented by a chieftain of the party, Mr. George Agbologa. Addressing party members on his desire to contest for the number one seat in the state, Bishop Akalame, in company with his wife, said he voted into power in September 19 governorship election. His manifesto, titled Technical Solution of Edo State, will be put into use to revamp the state's economy. We are bringing in what is called creative and innovative leadership and governance to the people of Edo State. We are to the point that even when you sell such water, you make money because we are going to reactivate the economy of the state and make it the powerhouse of Nigeria economy. Other leaders of the Zenith Labour Party at the well-attended flag of and wife of the governorship candidate, Princess Bola Akhalame, called on the electorate to look beyond money politics and vote for the man with the right manifesto and agenda into office for a better Edo state. I'm just here to so show my solidarity to my friend, Bishop Akhalame, to tell him that he should keep up the good work. By the grace of God, when Bishop Akhalame come on board, when Zenith Labour Party come on board, uh, he's going to do a lot. Zenith Labour Party is determined and set to take over the leadership of the state for the actualization of the Take You All agenda come September 19, 2020. The flag of exercise of the party was attended by coordinators of the Bishop Akalame campaign coalition from across the 18 local government areas of the state, party leaders from the central district of the state in accordance with the COVID-19 protocol. The campaign team of the ZLP will next visit the 3 senatorial district of the state to solicit votes for its governorship candidate, Bishop Akalame, and running mate, Tomsi Osadolo, Aibu Jikoria, reporting.